Module number 11, Cognitive Mental Health Issues. In this module, we include 35 most important questions and their answers. So, let's start the video. Question number 216. An exaggerated belief about one's own importance, wealth, or power is called a page number 778. Answers are A. An illusion. B. A delusion of persecution. C. A hallucination. D. A delusion of grandeur. The right answer is D. A delusion of grandeur. Question number 217. The three meanings that surround the brain are page number 284. Answers are A. Dura mater, arachnoid, and pia mater. B. Ligaments, tendons, and cartilage. C. Veins, arteries, and capillaries. D. Neurons, dendrites, and electrolyte. The right answer is A. Dura mater, arachnoid, and pia mater. Question number 218. A phobia page number 784. Answers are A. A compulsion. B. An unreasonable fear. C. A symptom of depression. D. Common in people with dementia. The right answer is B. An unreasonable fear. Question number 219. Dementia often develops in persons with Answers are A. Angina pectoris. B. Bulimia. C. AIDS. D. Spinal cord injuries. The right answer is D. Spinal cord injuries. Question number 220. A lack of regard for legal or moral standards in the local culture or marked inability to get along with others or abide by society laws is known as a page number 797. Answers are A. Antisocial personality disorder. B. Borderline personality disorder. C. Histrionic personality disorder. D. Narcissistic personality disorder. The right answer is A. Antisocial personality disorder. Question number 221. The fatty covering that insulates nerve fibers in the brain and spinal cord is called a page number 283. Answers are A. Hissa node. B. Axon. C. Electrolytes. D. Myelin. The right answer is D. Myelin. Question number 222. The brain is connected to the spinal cord by the page number 283. Answers are A. Cerebellum. B. Cerebral cortex. C. Cerebrum. D. Brainstem. The right answer is D. Brainstem. Question number 223. It is important to closely monitor a client with dementia because they answers are A. may be more at risk of accident and injury to self and others. B. Scholten mix with other residents. C. Must follow their doctor's orders. D. Are not allowed to leave their room. The right answer is A. Uh, may be more at risk of accident and injury to self and others. Question number 224. Conditions that start with physical symptoms but will progress to dementia are uh, Answers are A. Uh, Parkinson's disease. B. Huntington's disease. C. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. D. All of the above. The right answer is D. All of the above. Question number 225. When a client talks of suicide intent, which is false, answers are I'll always take the person seriously. B. Report to your supervisor. C. Be a good listener. D. Use phrases like things will work out. The right answer is D. Use phrases like things will work out. Question number 226. When myelin is damaged, Transmission of messages may be slowed or blocking resulting in which one of the following conditions of page number 861. Answers are A. Parkinson's disease. B. Huntington's disease. C. Multiple sclerosis. D. Acquired brain injury. The right answer is C. Multiple sclerosis. Question number 227. The fear of leaving home is called a page number 784. Answers are A. Agoraphobia. B. Altophobia. C. Maniophobia. D. Archenhophius. The right answer is A. Agoraphobia. 
Question number 228. Dopamine is often found in low amounts in which one of the following disorders answers are A. Parkinson's disease B. Huntington's disease C. Pick's disease D. Lee body dementia The right answer is A. Parkinson's disease Question number 229. When assisting angry residents remember, refers to the principle of ethics that asserts a health care professional has an obligation to not inflict harm intentionally of page number 124. Answers are A. Non-Wolfenesics B. Jurisprudence C. Apathy D. Stigma The right answer is A. Non-Wolfenesics Question number 230. During the manic phase of bipolar disorder, your client Mary appears at page number 780. Answers are A. Depressed B. Sleepy C. Stimulated D. Unhappy The right answer is C. Stimulated Question number 231. Symptoms of depression of page number 814. Answers are A. Are the same for everyone. B may include sleeping all the time, overeating, not bathing, and C not going out. D may include an ability to sleep or eat in anxiety. D both B and C. The right answer is B both B and C. Question number 232. A person who craves food consumes the food and then induces vomiting is suffering from a page number 789. Answers are A. Anorexia nervosa. D. Bulimia. C. Schizophrenia. D. Bipolar disorder. The right answer is D. Bulimia. Question number 233. The regulate smooth muscle movement page number 283. Answers are A. Cerebral cortex. B. Cerebellum. C. Thalamus. D. Midrained. The right answer is B. Cerebellum. Question number 234. Dementia is a feature of a page number 812. Answers are A. Osteoporosis. B. Hicks disease. C. Myocardial infarction. D. Rheumatoid arthritis. The right answer is B. Hicks disease. Question number 235. Preventing and managing aggression includes a page number 832. Answers are A. Removing people from danger. B. Removing potential weapons. C. Encouraging clients to talk about their feelings. D. All of the above. The right answer is D. All of the above. Question number 236. A lack of interest, emotional well-being. Enthusiasm or concern, which appears as indifferent, is a page number 807. Answers are A. Empathy B. Sympathy C. Apathy D. Apraskia The right answer is C. Apathy Question number 237. Which one of the following medical conditions is characterized by a decrease in spontaneous movement? Heat difficulty, pastoral instability, muscle rigidity, a mask like expression, and tremors. Answers are A. Cerebral palsy. B. Alzheimer's disease. C. Parkinson's disease. D. Multiple sclerosis. The right answer is C. Parkinson's disease. Question number 238. A false belief of being persecuted or of being superior to everyone else is a page number 860. Answers are A. Hallucination B. Obsession C. Delusion D. Defense mechanism The right answer is C. Delusion Question number 239. T stands for a page number 259. Answers are A. Trouble and alertness B. Temporary insane activity. C. Trauma induced urticaria passes. D. Transient ischemic attack. The right answer is D. Transient ischemic attack. Question number 240. A personality disorder, page number 796. Answers are A. Is not as serious as an affective disorder. B. Includes many different symptoms that are characterized by C. Malipidative behavior. D. Does not interfere with the person forming relationships. E. Can be treated solely with medication. 
the right answer is B, can be treated solely with medication. Question number 241. Cognitive impairment is a page number 805. Answers are A. Present in all elderly people. B. A decrease in intellectual functioning. C. Described as complete memory loss. D. Reversible with the use of reality orientation. The right answer is B. A decrease in intellectual functioning. Question number 242. There are two types of strokes caused by. Answers are A. Hypertension. B. A blood clot. C. A burst blood vessel. D. Both B and C. The right answer is D. Both B and C. Question number 243. A client with Down syndrome is at increased risk for A. Answers are A. Parkinson's disease. B. Multilymphoc dementia. C. Alzheimer's disease, D, Lewy body dementia. The right answer is C, Alzheimer's disease. Question number 244. Having an appetite for nano foods or an abnormal appetite for foods such as flour, raw potatoes, and starch refers to which one of the following eating disorders at page number 790? Answers are A, obesity, B, anorexia nervosa, C, bulimia, D, pica. The right answer is D. Pica. Question number 245. Dementia exists at page number 808. Answers are A. And one form only. B. As a normal part of aging. C. As an irreversible brain disorder. D. In some clients who chronically consume alcohol in excess. The right answer is D. In some clients who chronically consume alcohol in excess. Question number 246. Sundowning means a page 830. Answers are A. It is bedtime. B. Behaviors of dementia escalate in late afternoon and early. C. Evening. D. Behaviors of dementia improve at night. E. The person is now in the third stage of Alzheimer's disease. The right answer is B. Behaviors of dementia escalate in late afternoon and early. Question number 247. When a person is confused, which food substance is thought to increase restlessness, confusion, and agitation? Page number 580. Answers are A. Fats. B. Caffeine. C. Dairy products. D. Salt. The right answer is D. Caffeine. Question number 248. Persons with Alzheimer's disease of page number 810 to 811. Answers are A. Have poor judgment. B. Lose impulse control and have difficulty with communication. C. May wonder or have hallucinations. D. All of the above. The right answer is D. All of the above. Question number 249. A higher rate of suicide occurs with a page number 791. Answers are A. First Nation Youth. B. Hospice Residence. C. Acute Care Setting. D. Secondary School Setting. The right answer is A. First Nation Youth. Question number 250. A serious behavioral and emotional disorder that can occur in children and teens. A child with this disorder may display a pattern of disruptive and violent behavior and have problems. Following rules. Answers are A. Seasonal Affective Disorder. B. Anxiety Disorder. C. Panic Disorder. D. Conduct Disorder. The right answer is D. Conduct Disorder. Thank you for watching this video. See you in module number 12.